today I'm going to demonstrate how to create a smoke effect. First, we'll start with our shape layer. And I'm going to position it beneath our outer bottle. And we are going to add a path. We will just go ahead and add the points where we would like the smoke to go. And I'm going to reposition the composition to make sure that I can find the edge. And then we'll just do the same on the other side and close up our path. Then we're going to go ahead and add a fill. And we will change that fill to a shade of gray. And then we're going to adjust the opacity. And then we are going to go and find our wave warp over in the effects menu. And we'll just drag it on to our smoke layer. And we are going to adjust the wave height to how we are wanting it. We are going to pin the top edge so that the effect does not mess with the top and you can't see the edges of it. Then we are going to change the position and direction of our smoke. And now what we're going to do is we're just going to bring in our edges a little bit so that the smoke does not pass the outer rim of the bottle. And then we are going to adjust the top layer to make sure that the smoke is reaching out further. And now we are just going to mess with the bottom two points to make sure that the smoke is staying in the general vicinity of the cigar. We are just going to adjust it every few frames. Now I'm just going to demonstrate why we adjusted those bottom points and what happens if you do not adjust them.